Um, really proud of our guys. Um, that was an interesting game, to say the least. It wasn't exactly the prettiest game you've ever seen. It wasn't exactly uh, the second half was, was, was uh, I thought, you know, well played by both teams. And probably similar to my golf game, thank God there's no pictures on the scorecard because it'll go down as a win and no one will really have to see, you know, the first 18 minutes of the first half where we had six points with six minutes to go. And, but either way, uh, the, the goal of this time of year is to continue your season, and that's exactly what we did. And uh, proud of our guys, the way that they fought and stayed together and stayed with it uh, throughout the entire 40 minutes. It looked like you guys wanted to get inside early and the shots weren't going. Did you just tell them at halftime, keep, keep getting it in there, keep getting in the paint and trying to get those? Well, we know that they're going to do a great job of kind of take away, um, you know, Carvel's threes. Felt lucky he had some good looks he didn't make. I thought Chuck had some good looks he didn't make from three. But uh, we did want to get the ball into the paint. Um, they do a very good job of kind of flooding the paint when you drive. And so if you don't move them first, you're not going to have success. And I thought we just drove a little bit too soon when we went into the paint. And so we were shooting guarded shots. And then in the second half, we were able to execute and then get penetration at the end of a set or at the end of some motion. And that allowed us to be able to you know, have enough space to either get fouled or, you know, score. You went nine and a half minutes without scoring. And at one point you were three of 19, chips you go and you're only down five. So how confident was your group, even though it was a rough first half, that you're still right there? I wouldn't say there was a high level of confidence. Um, but what I would say was when I went in, I said it, do it doesn't matter if it's five nothing, 20 to 15, 70 to 65, it's still five points. And so, you know, as, as poorly as we played offensively, um, we defended well enough to give ourselves a chance. And that's exactly what you can ask for out of a situation like that. You know, all, you know, the coaches kept talking about, the bench kept talking about the entire first half was just stay with it, just keep playing, just keep playing. And it almost seemed like we made, you know, just enough buckets to kind of keep within uh, distance where we were able to have, you know, enough confidence when we went into the halftime saying, okay, if we can kind of write the ship and, and execute offense a little better with a little more detail, We'll be able to give ourselves the best chance. Andy, how much can you quantify how much of that you can cover? Oh, it was huge, and then not just for him, but for, for you know for everybody, you know. And uh, we wanted him to be aggressive. You know, we we talked to him a lot about diversifying his offense. I think you know maybe in the last few games he's kind of lived at that three point line, and every once in a while you got to let people know that you can get into the paint, especially the way that people are guarding him. They're so physical that if he puts it on the floor and has an advantage, there's going to be contact. And the refs have to call that. That's what the NCAA has said. That's the changes they've made. And so for him to be able to attack and get 12 free throws in the second half was huge. And, and you know, for him to see the ball go through the basket, I think he needed that. What do you make of the, the maybe the disparity between the fouls amount called in the first half and second half? Is that because the game changed a little bit in the second half? And got... Well, I think we got into the lane more. You know, we, we, we attacked better. And, and um, that's what you have to do. You, you have to attack. If they're taking away your ability to make perimeter jump shots, well, someone's got to, we either got to get pain points in some fashion, whether it's through penetration, through a post touch. Um, and, and so, you know, it was what was needed at the time, and it was what the defense was giving us, and that's what we took. And you talk about um, you know, it just seems that that's the way that it always works out. And, um, you know, we, we obviously have great respect for what they've done in, in their program. Uh, we've had, you know, a lot of history with them in terms of us being successful, them being successful. Um, and I anticipate that Tuesday will be exactly the same. It's going to come down to, you know, a handful of possessions. We know both teams are going to be well prepared. We know both teams are going to be fired up. The invite environment should be incredible. And I'm sure it'll be a great basketball game. Did you, did you want a foul in that final St. Francis possession, or did you want to just? We did not. Um, once they got it into a scoring area, we did not want, want to foul. Uh, but we wanted to make sure we stayed down and we contested. And Dave Avalon obviously did a great job of using his length and being able to not give them a good look.